Hello Marauders! Welcome to Exams 101. This is chapter 1 of our video, where we will be covering exam agreement, locating your personal exam schedule, exam locations on campus, and the exams checklist. One of the first steps in gearing up for your exams is to complete the exam agreement. For each term, all McMaster University students must read and accept the exam guidelines agreement before taking any exams. Here's how you access it. Log into Mosaic, click on the tasks tile, select the exam guidelines agreement, carefully review the exam's policy, then proceed to accept, save, and exit. Keep in mind this process has to be done each term. I know, even I forget. Your personal exam schedule is typically released in the first week of October and the first week of February for the final exams for each term. It's important to regularly check the exam schedule as details such as times, dates, and locations are subject to change. To access your personal exam schedule, log into Mosaic, select the My Exam Schedule tile, navigate to the corresponding session, and within the section, you will find detailed information such as course code, exam location, duration, and date. Getting to know your physical exam environment can help reduce anxiety on exam day. Since exams may take place anywhere on campus, it's important to review your personal exam schedule for specific locations. For a comprehensive overview of McMaster's campuses, visit discover.mcmaster.ca, where you can explore a virtual map. On the day of your exam, keep an eye out for signage that will guide you to the correct location. In Chapter 2, we will delve deeper into understanding and interpreting these signs. Stay tuned. Make sure you are not forgetting anything for your exam by following this general checklist. First, consult your syllabus to confirm if there are any additional supplies required for your exam. The most crucial item is your student ID card or a piece of government-issued ID. Without it, you won't be able to write your exam. If you bring a backpack, leave it against the wall of the room. Small personal items like a purse or a cell phone must be placed under the chair or desk. Remember to turn off all electronic devices. Bring an HP pencil and a pen. If a calculator is necessary, check if you require a McMaster Standard Model or as specified by your professor. McMaster Standard Calculators are Casio FX991MS or Casio FX991MS Plus, which are available at the campus store. Only drinks in spill-proof containers are allowed. No food is permitted. Feeling prepared? All right, best of luck. Hello, Marauders. Welcome to Exams 101. This is chapter two of our series covering how to read exam signs, everything Scantron, and the exam experience. When looking at your personal exam schedule, you may see acronyms that you are unfamiliar with. You can find legend on the Office of the Registrar's website. Give yourself extra time to arrive to the exam. If you arrive late, no extra time will be given. Make sure you are headed to the specific room as noted in your personal exam schedule. Upon entering the exam room, you'll notice rows of desks with corresponding signs. Locate a seat in the correct row, ensuring you are writing the correct exam. Some courses have distinct exams for each class section, so it is very important you read your schedule and all signs correctly. Many exams will require a Scantron sheet, a fillable, multiple choice sheet scanned for grading. To ensure for accurate scanning, use an HB pencil to make a heavy mark that completely fills out the circular bubble. Do not use pens or markers as the scanner will not recognize these marks. Before the start of your exam, Fill out the required fields on side one of the Scantron sheet. Your student number, name, date, course, instructor's name, and your signature. Also, if applicable, you should include your version number. During the exam, make sure you fill out the Scantron bubbles accurately by completely and precisely shading the entire bubble. Avoid these common mistakes when filling in bubbles. Incomplete or improper filling of the Scantron may lead to incorrect grades or zero on your examination. Yikes. No extra time will be given to complete the Scantron portion of your exam, so make sure you're filling it out as you go. As discussed in our previous chapter, organize your belongings appropriately. Place your student card or government-issued photo ID on the upper right-hand corner of the desk. Leave it there until the invigilator has collected your completed exam. Ensure that all exam papers, booklets, Scantron sheets, and scrap papers are properly labeled with your name, student number, and course code. Should you require any assistance, whether it's a pencil, scrap paper, or a restroom break, simply raise your hand and an invigilator will be there to assist you. They can help locate your instructor to address any questions related to exam content. 
For most exams, it's necessary to remain inside the exam room until 45 minutes has elapsed from the start of the exam, even if you finish earlier. To conclude your exam, raise your hand and the invigilator will approach you to confirm your completion and collect all exam items. These are general guidelines for what to expect during your exams. Stay calm, study hard, and best of luck. Hello, routers. Welcome to Exams 101. This is chapter three of our video, where we will be addressing accommodations for religious, indigenous, and spiritual observances, what to do if I miss an exam, additional resources on campus for exams. In the event of a scheduling conflict between final exams and a religious, indigenous, or spiritual observance, please take the following steps. Complete a RISO form and submit online as a service request on Mosaic. You must submit at least 10 working days before the start of the examination period. It's important to note RISO exams are not allowed to be written before the original exam date. Final exams will be rescheduled within the same exam period as requested. If you miss or leave an exam for medical reasons, you must submit a petition for a special consideration form with supporting documentation of illness, personal, or family reasons. The form is available from your faculty's office of the associate dean. Your petition, along with your supporting documentation, is normally required within five working days of the missed examination. If you still have any unanswered questions, there are many places on campus that are here to support you. Be sure to visit the Student Success Center, the Student Wellness Center, the Athletics and Recreation Department, and the Black Student Success Center for specially curated programs designed to bring out the best in you. If there's anything we missed or you require any additional information, don't hesitate to reach out. Send us an email at exams at mcmaster.ca for further assistance. We appreciate your time and attention, Rodders. We hope this helps you feel prepared. Thank you for watching Exams 101.